here's a list of the essential uh the yeah you must have essential equipment that you need a ruler protractor pair of compasses pen pencil eraser you can have a formula sheet that should be left on your table already tracing paper may be used as well we're going to look at tracing paper right now use tracing paper for questions that look like this rotate we're going to rotate shape a 180 degrees around point one zero so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw point one zero i'm going to use a pencil one is your x zero is your y so i'm going to go one along the x and i'm not going to move along my y so this is my center of rotation i'm going to mark it so i know what i'm doing and i need to move 180 degrees so let me just center this here I take my piece of tracing paper, I put it on and make sure it covers the center of rotation and the triangle, the thing we're trying to move. We're going to move it 180 degrees. So first thing I do is I draw my triangle. Doesn't have to be mega accurate. I then put my pencil in the point and I'm pressing on that point. Okay, so that's that's really, really important. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this point here so that when I turn it round, it can slide easily. First thing I'm going to do, though, actually, is I'm going to draw an arrow. This is pointing at the moment to 12 o'clock on the, on the clock. It's right at the top. And 180 degrees means that I want to turn it from this all the way round. So I'm just checking my point, just checking my uh, triangle again putting lots of pressure on that point and I'm turning it round. Now, it doesn't matter if you turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise in this case, because it's 180 degrees. It would matter if it was 60 degrees or 270. So I'm turning it round. This is at 90 degrees. OK, so I've turned it so far, 190, sorry, 90 degrees, but I need it at 180. So that's at nine o'clock. I need it at six o'clock. So I'm going to swap hands so you can see it better. And I'm going to bring it all the way around here. So now that arrow is pointing at six o'clock. This is where my triangle needs to be. So I'm going to hold that just where it is. And change hands. So I'm going to keep the tracing paper where it is. And then I'm going to flip this piece up and make sure that I've got all of my points plotted correctly. So I move it up and down to make sure they're all plotted. And then with the ruler, I'm going to draw in my shape. I'm doing this pretty uh, dark so you can see it, but what you might want to do is do it a little bit lighter to start with, just to make sure. Ooh. There we go. So I'm just going to double check it. I start here, I've got my point, I'm double checking I've got the right um, center of rotation here. Yep, it's one zero. I put my point in here and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And I'm a little bit off because I, I did my, uh, I moved my paper as I went. You can do it again if you need to. This is the 180 degree rotation. But what if you've been given it already and you're asked to describe the single transformation? Now, this is a rotation question, and the rotation questions are sometimes more difficult to spot. But what you're doing is you're turning it round. So this shape doesn't slide, which is a translation. It doesn't reflect. It's not a mirror image of what you had, and it doesn't get any bigger. So you can eliminate the others. So this is a rotation, and you need to write that. We need to work out where the center of rotation is and we need to work out the number of degrees it's rotated. And again, I'm going to use my tracing paper. So I need to get this down to here. I draw my original shape just like we did before. But this time I don't know where the center is. It's always a good idea to start at zero, zero. So I'm going to start at zero, zero. I'm going to turn it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to turn it. And that is now definitely not in the right place. 
So I need a different center of rotation. And interestingly, it looked like a very different place. Uh, maybe I try over here. You want something that's about halfway in between. And I saw it was a really different shape. So I'm thinking about what's going to take this round to here. And I'm thinking that somewhere over here might be a good idea. So I'm going to try this one here. Oh, this is looking promising. There we go. Now, it may take you several attempts. What you might have done, I'm just going to mark the center of rotation here first. OK, so what you might have done is tried something up here, maybe. And you can see when it comes around, it's just a very different shape. It's a very different orientation. Same shape, still congruent, but a different orientation. All right. So now I've got my center of rotation, so I need to write it. The rotation, um, I tend to write center of rotation here. And this point, oh, that's useful. It's negative three on the X and it's negative three on the right. So center is negative three. Make sure you put the negative in. That doesn't look so good. So I'm just going to cross it off. Negative three, negative three. Obviously, if you'd have drawn it on the, the with negatives here, then it didn't look so readable here. Then then it still would have uh, you still would have been able to pick up that mark, depending on how generous the examiner is being. But um, please make sure it says the uh, the negatives in there. The last bit of information is how um, how much it's moved. And actually, you need to know the, the direction on this one as well. So we go back to our drawing. I'm going to use my 12 o'clock again. So this is my 12 o'clock. I need to put my pencil back in the center of rotation here. And as I move it round, I'm moving it clockwise. It is moving as the hands of a clock turn. And when I get it here, and you see it's now moved to three o'clock. So 12 o'clock to three o'clock is a quarter of a circle. And a quarter of the circle is the same as 90 degrees. And we did clockwise. Didn't quite fit it in properly there. Rotation, 90 degrees clockwise, center of rotation, negative three, negative three.